I'm Dave MacDonald and I'm working on the Frank Ocean Tour and here we are at Brixton Academy um, 2013. This is uh, Frank's largest show to date in London uh, or in the UK. Um, so it's quite a step up from him. I've been with Frank probably now for 13 months. Uh, started with the club show uh, scene with him. Uh, which was quite crazy, with a different console every night, uh, different venue, different PA every night, which was um, putting me out of my comfort field. Um, on this run, we are using uh, the iLife, which is my favorite little beast, the uh, 112, with the IDR0, which is very flexible for what we're doing. Um, we're using 64 channels on this. Um, and on stage there is everything from modular synths to uh, old EB1 bass guitars to uh, concert drums. So it's quite a challenge. Um, and then also there's the set itself, you know, the large video screen, the, the stage is dressed. Um, so at the moment we're running probably about four trucks, four very large trucks. Um, and uh, everyone seems to like me because the iLive is very tiny and just slots in very easily uh, in and out. So uh, I'm kind of a, uh, not a problem for anyone. I grew up listening to records and worked in the studio for a long period of time and, and made records. Um, but my, my passion's always been live because of the dynamic, which you could never get on a record, or, or maybe I could never play the record player loud enough at home. Uh, that might have something to do with it. Um, so once you get, you know, a band on stage and you've got a singer like Frank who can really sing, and fortunately, I, I, I've, I've, I've been really lucky for over the past couple of years with, with singers. I've had singers who sing and belt it out and you know, uh, th there's almost this little thing in the back of my head, if everything breaks down, at least I've still got drums and I've got a singer, you know what I mean? Uh, and I know a lot of engineers out there, they're struggling because they don't always have singers, you know, who, 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 who can push it. So I, I'm lucky in that respect. There's something I, I, I believe in is, is the flow of a desk. Um, mixing is a, it, it, it's a, uh, a funny job where it's, half, um, you know, half sort of programming or half, you know, uh, sort of research and study. And, and the other half is artistic and you have to combine those two things together. So a lot of boards to me nowadays have got all the sort of technical side all, all hammered down, but they don't have the flow. And which means that the artistic side of the job is not completely there. So when you suddenly have an idea on the spur of the moment idea, which you should have as an engineer, um, you don't want to be going through menus and pages and stuff like that because by the time you get to where you want to go, the, that, that thought is gone, you know, that piece of music is long gone and you'll never get it again. Whereas with the, with the iLive, the, the flow is like an old, almost like analog. So, you know, you can throw things about and sort of be straight on it straight away, which is um, one of the reasons why I like to use it. One of, one, one of the other reasons is the, just the size and, and what you get in that box for the size is, is quite devastating, you know? The preamps on the board are, they're, they're great. I mean, you can just hammer those things and, and just throw whatever you want at them. And uh, I, I haven't managed to make one go strange yet. So, uh, you know, well, that's quite, quite something. I'm, I'm not the most technical person in the world and I, I, I never will be. Um, I'm not that kind of engineer. Um, but you know, I've got a set of ears and a set of hands and uh, you know, I like to mix things.